Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noelle McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. Yeah, on piano was the lovely Scott Ramp. And the also ever lovely Asaph Adonai is not here with us today. Um, he is on a short hiatus for the morning. You just are stuck with the two of us. But we have a great show for you. We've got uh, Anna Semple on from Missoula. Let's see. Missoula Forum for Children and Youth. I always mess it up, but I wanted to get it right. Uh, and she's going to be talking about her Healthy Start Missoula and um, how it went. It was this campaign. She's going to tell us all about it and how it went. So we'll hear from her in a few minutes. But first off, we've got some weather. Um, and since Scott's just rocking on the piano, you want to do uh, Scott? Let me do weather. Okay, all right. Scott's so going to do some weather. What did I do with it? So this is what we've got for you guys this morning. And currently it's 53 degrees outside. You have a 80% chance that it's already raining outside. Um, <laughs> but later tonight, you can expect it to go down a little bit. But of course, it'll only be about 60 to about 30% chance of rain. Of course, Saturday is going to be mostly sunny. But if you haven't already looked today, the sun's already trying to shine. And there's a lot to look forward to today, especially for our summer camps because our summer camps are ending today. They are, yes. Today, uh, this week was our first week of our summer camps. It was our wildlife filmmaking camp. And today is the last day of it. The kids made a lot of movies. So today we're going to be, thankfully it's raining outside. So today we're going to be doing lots of editing, lots of editing. fine tuning. And today's our live show. At 5 yes. p.m. you get to see all the videos that the kids have made with help from Kate Davis of Raptors of the Rocky. So I want to give mm -hmm. a shout out to Raptors of the Rocky, Kate Davis. Yep. Without her, this program would not be possible for this week. But of course, we have many other programs happening. We still have room in our uh, second animation camp, which happens on July 18th. Yes. So, July 18th. July 18th, you can still sign your kids up. Stop motion animation. So from starting about 1.15 and 1.30, all up until 5.15, your children will be making awesome stop motion videos. And on Tuesday and Thursday, as always, in our other camps, we do a live cut-in. So your kids will be able to be on live TV and they can show some of the videos and talk about their experience along the week. Which is good. On Tuesday, it's always awkward. By Thursday, they're okay. And Friday, they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Thursday is a big editing day. And today is going to be doing some cleanup stuff. And then you're going to see the best of what the kids have done. Which is a lot of great little funny little videos. Along with some educational ones about the birds at Raptors of They're so cute and enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that we are going to bring our guest out. Well, we should uh, do some sort of show show networking. Oh, show, that's a great show, idea. Show, 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 you know what, Scott? Networking. That's a great idea. So we're going to do some social networking. So find out more about Wake Up Missoula. You can check us out on our website, wakeupmissoula.com. Wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You can like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at wakeupmissoula. And you can also... Follow us on our Twitter page on MCAT, at MCAT TV Missoula. You can also like us on Facebook. <laughs> but of course, MCAT.org is the place to be where you can find all sorts of wonderful videos and more on our channel and beyond, and all sorts of wonderful things as well. It's but of course, true. we have a guest with yeah. in the wings, um, Anna Semple, and she's from the Forum for Missoula Children and Youth, and she's going to come on here and she's going to talk about some of the programs that they do in the schools, am I right? Yes, definitely. And so, um, before we bring her on, here is a nice short little PSA about uh, Fourth of July and fireworks and how veterans have PTSD and, you know, this Fourth of July fireworks can really mess with them. This is Dan Gallagher, Vietnam veteran. You know, veterans enjoy the 4th of July festivities as much as anyone, maybe even more, since the day celebrates the freedoms they help defend. You know, the fireworks we use to celebrate our freedoms on the 4th of July are some of the same sounds that remind the veterans who fought for those freedoms of the wars they thought they'd left behind, whether just last week or 50 years ago. So enjoy your fireworks, but be courteous when using them around others, especially veterans. It's just one way to honor our nation's defenders, and believe me, our veterans would definitely appreciate that. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> hey guys, we're back here with Anna Semple. Hello everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here with Anna Semple, and she's going to be telling us all about the Missoula Forum for Children and Youth. So what is that? 
Um, so we are an office through Missoula County that works to promote healthy and happy families and youth and also um, one of our target goals is preventing substance abuse and underage substance abuse. We do that in a really broad way though, so I coordinate our early childhood coalition, Healthy Start Missoula, that really looks at how we can help get have kids have good healthy interactions with their families and be ready for, pre for kindergarten when they get there. So yeah. how did Healthy Start start? <laughs> You know, it started uh, ages ago, over 10 years ago. Um, the community came together really realizing that there was a need to work together and um, collaborate in order to promote young children. Um, the state actually started early childhood coalitions around the state. There's about 20 of them now um, that we are a part of. So it's a network that we are a part of now. So now it's not just Missoula County. We're actually linked up with a bigger network. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And so what did your Healthy Start Missoula Coalition do? So we just received um, some funding from the Montana Preschool Development Grant, which is received by the state. And they gave us some money that we were able to then pass on to preschools in the community. So it's really about getting kids um, ready for kindergarten and really enhancing our early education here in Missoula County. Um, we were able to uh, coordinate 14 projects at different preschools around town. And the idea is to, one, give them those services um, so we have bark chips for their playground areas that we were able to donate and um, in, install garden beds for their playgrounds, um, providing paint for an interior room of a preschool because they need that pretty mm -hmm. often, um, <laughs> and also building these PVC um, easels that hang on fences for art centers in a preschool area. Nice. So, yeah, we recruited volunteers to come and help install that project and we're really trying to raise awareness about Know, needs that preschools may have, the complexities of running a preschool, and um, you know, helping the community support that a little bit. Yeah. Cool. And um, how many different preschools? Do you do a lot of the preschools that are in like this? It, are, are these any of these preschools like in the school district, the MCPS thing? No, they have. There is a preschool um, associated with the school district, um, mostly with their special ed program, but we are completely doing independent preschools. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they are, they're all serving four-year-olds. Each of the preschools receiving a project has some students that receive um, income-based scholarships. So we're trying to help preschools that maybe are supporting students that might need it a little bit more. Um, and really a broad variety all across town. What, 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 could you um, kind of elaborate a little more on some of the projects that you have these uh, kids doing? Yeah, we're not actually working with the kids. That gets a little tricky as far as background checks and getting volunteers right. in there. So what we did is, um, you know, bark chips, they need to have for their play equipment, they need to have a certain amount of some sort of soft surface underneath. And so we were able to purchase that, get it delivered to the site, and then recruit volunteers to rake it out and get it all installed, which is a heavy job. So yeah. it's kind of a hard thing for the one, to afford, and then two, for them to actually get people together to do it. So really taking two burdens off of the preschools with that. Um, the easels were pretty fun. We had volunteers, the Office for Civic Engagement got us some high school volunteers that helped um, build these PVC pipe easels that are pretty large. Uh, and they hang on the fences, they clip on, and students will be able to, you know, we have paints and paint cups that go with it, and they'll be able to do art projects. Um, and that was all done by a series of volunteers. Uh, also, the garden beds we purchased um, and are you know, having some volunteers install them, and they'll get seeds and um, some little gardening tools for the kids to use. So they get to one, they get to have that in there and have maybe some nutritious vegetables that come from it, and also enrich their education experience. So, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And so, who were some of your um, donations and some of your sponsors? Yeah, so. MUD, Missoula Urban Demonstration Project, did an amazing job. They provided the site for us to use to build the easels with the high school students. They provided tools and truck use free of charge, which is really a huge support to us mm -hmm. because we needed a lot of tools for this project <laughs> and it would have been really hard to round up. So they have been really welcoming and opened their doors to help partner with this project. Um, the Office for Civic Engagement at UM helped connect us with student volunteers that were able to do some of this. The United Way's Day of Action, they recruited a, a team, an office from the university campus that came and installed a lot of the bark chips um, 
And then Healthy Start Missoula is a coalition of early childhood services, and so a lot of staff members from that were able to give their time to help and, and give back with that a little bit as well. Cool. Are um, there any like uh, rock stars in your program, like people who are just like, oh man, this person's so involved and amazing? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to leave a lot of people out if I start doing that. Um, <laughs> YMCA, um, Billy Moriarty came and, and helped and got Vistas actually involved in doing um, leading some of the high school students and fun mm -hmm. activities so that it was engaging. Um, Youth Dynamics sent over a couple of people, Beth Breen, and brought some coworkers. So um, they helped build the garden bed. The Missoula City County Health Department, okay. um, our contact there was Michelle Voigt, and she brought a partner in, and, and they helped building easels on a Saturday morning. So that was really, getting people on Saturdays a really big deal. We really appreciated <laughs> that. Um, I think that's it. And then just the hardware stores around town. I don't know a ton about you yeah. know, hardware and bolts and things to hook easels together and hang them on a fence. And so Ace Hardware was calling all around town to find places that could get me the materials oh, I needed. Awesome. Um, Lowe's ended up cutting tons of PVC pipe in half so it could fit in the back of my car. <laughs> um, they just really stepped up. Cedar Products Unlimited gave us a deal on wood chips for this because they wanted to support the project. So it was really a, a community effort. Yeah. People really came together for this. They do say that it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. So does. you really, it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's yeah. wonderful. I'm yeah. so glad. Me too. Good. Was well, there anything else that you want to tell us before we let you go? I think we just really want to raise awareness about the importance of early education. Um, children's brains are developing at incredibly fast rates, and they're so impressionable at that time and so providing enriching experiences is really essential not just for four-year-olds actually even earlier than that um, but this grant is targeted at four-year-olds um, so just raising awareness about the importance of having high quality early education and child care for children um, and how complex that is it's not just babysitting mm -hmm. child care and, and early education is all about enriching environments and having really highly trained employees. So we're going to be working with all of these preschools in the future to help provide some trainings and continue this effort beyond just these volunteer projects. Awesome. Well, cool. thank you so much. And um, just tell everyone where, where your website is and where people can find more information. Yeah, so you can go to healthystartmissoula.org and that really is a, a clearinghouse of services for families of ages, kids ages 0 to 8. We all, um, have some information about this preschool project. We're wrapping up the volunteer portion, so we're not really looking for volunteers right now, but we really want to celebrate what's going on. So any families with young children can go there. Um, and I think that's probably the best resource for this. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. much. We'll be right back in that speaks against this idea of slavery and also the sublime. There's mm -hmm. the sublime at work here too. The nature is taking yeah. over and man, even when man is, is acting horrifically, nature will have uh, the last word. Yeah. Really powerful. I, I, it's amazing to me and it's so exciting because both of these images show artists, both of these artists, way ahead of their time. Yes. Way I mean, Van Gogh kind of oblivious to it, yep. but Turner, <clears throat> way ahead of his time. Way ahead of his time. And when you actually see those paintings, you know, I had the pleasure of seeing quite a few yeah. Turners that uh, the surfaces are amazing and his attention, he knew exactly what he was doing and he was really a visionary. Yeah, so did you see the movie? All right, so there's some of the uh, example of, of a video that I shot. Um, um, I'm producing a show, it's called uh, Look Before You Speak, and it airs um, tonight at 6.30. Cool. Yep. I and got what, what is this show about? The show is about art appreciation. Very they nice. They talk about art, they talk about artists, and this one particularly is about uh, Van Gogh, and a couple of the other, um, they mentioned a couple others in that clip as well. But I had my headphones off, so I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we have, there's also another uh, program on tonight, and I'm going to show you a little taste of that, and that is the Access to Justice Forum that was happening at the, I, I believe it was at the law school here at the University of Montana is that I think we need to work towards a more trauma-informed system, um, both in our social, social services system, of course, and then our legal justice system, um, and really always embracing a trauma-informed and victim-centered approach where we truly put the, um, the interest of the victim and the knowledge of trauma um, at the forefront. And yeah, that's, that's it. I cut a few things up.
All right, and that is um, the more of the access to justice form, and that's on tonight at 7 p.m. So it's right after Look Before You Speak. You can see this. And there's, of course, there's a whole lot of other programs, but I'm just kind of like briefly going all over all of them. I have one that's loaded into our Final Cup Pro, Pro, Pro program, oh. and that's the uh, Mansfield uh, Brown Bag Lecture Series. And it's basically like the presidential lecture series, except for people who bring brown bag lunches. Oh, that's nice. Instead what, of, what's um, in those instead brown of bags? Um, velvet um, briefcases full of, um, of sushi. Money. Money and sushi. Money and sushi. They bring brown bags they, full they, of they, they beer wrap their, and they, they wrap sandwiches. their sushi with money yeah. and then they eat it. Personally. And then the brown bag have like beer and sandwiches in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> they have a cold smoke and, uh, and, a, and a bratwurst. Yeah. <laughs> Good old brown bag lectures. <laughs> All right, but here's a little taste of what's happening um, tomorrow night. But I'm excited to know that the work you know, that we started there and that we will continue here is that sustainability piece and knowing that both what they're teaching us and what we're teaching them is only going to help all of us in our professional careers and moving forward and you know, making the change and wherever we are, I guess, is what I'm excited about. So. I, I just, you know, I like sharing my experience with anybody. I, you know, I work at the college. People come through the, into the fitness center. They're asking me how my trip went, and things like that. And, um, just the, the differences. Um, I, I think I have a little bit different opinion than a lot of people on different situations. Um, like they, what, you know, I wouldn't call them a lot of their situations necessarily poverty. All right. So that's what you guys can expect um, tomorrow night. And of course, uh, there's Southwest Asia conference happening, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to yeah. skip it. Skip it's all it. happening tomorrow night, uh, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Cool. You can check it out. You can also watch it on MCAT.org if you go to our oh. video on demand website. So it go brings you to this nice little web page. You can see the entire schedule, but of course you can see the most recent stuff put up here. Great. And yeah. so how can people watch things live on our video on demand page? Watch things live? Yeah. They click on the little watch icon right here. And it, and it will show you what's live on MCAT. Wow. And it's us. Yes. Ooh, that's pretty meta, you guys. Yeah. See, that's the thumbnail that we just showed you guys. Yeah. But of wow. course, there is a delay. So what we're doing right now to us is happening right now. But what's happening to you on television is probably about like a minute or so later. So, um, Too much. That's too weird. Much. <laughs> Crazy. And All you'll right, see this so in a minute. No, I was going to do some events, so there's no video to transition into that. We're just going to go straight into events for your uh, Friday. It's true. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone, and happy Friday. Okay, we are starting at 9 a.m. out in Bonner over at Our Savior's Lutheran Church. They're having a rummage sale. So that's going on all day long, all donations, proceeds. <laughs> I'm like behind you the whole time. I know. Come back here. <laughs> Come back here. Come back here. No. <laughs> See, that's going to be really fun for him, but not fun for me. Yeah. <laughs> Is that bad? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got Tiny Tales starting at 10.30. This is for ages, babies, birth through three years. They sing songs and learn finger, pl learn finger plays and nursery rhymes. Yeah. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got Family Story Time. That's also at 10.30. So this is a bit of an older crowd, and they pretty much do the same thing as um, Tiny Tales, but, you know, it's older, and they have crafts and a theme story time. Yeah. Um, over Splash Montana starting at 10.30 a.m. is the world's largest swimming lesson. So get down there. Um, all ages are welcome. Fee is $5 per participant and includes open swim after the lesson. But you know, it's like raining today and it's 60 degrees, so you may want to check up on that before you head down there. Uh, over at the Learning Center of Red Willow is Basics of Resilience. It starts at 11 and it goes until 1 p.m. And so it's a free workshop and they're going to explore what makes us resilient and how we can build on the basic ability that each of us carries. Over at the Missoula Insectarium, it is their one year anniversary. So all year long I've been talking about all the wonderful events that they have. So starting at 11, you can go in there, you can check out the Missoula Insectarium, you can appreciate all the cool bugs they have and learn all about them. So it's free admission all day from 11 to five. Um, and there's also free admission at Spectrum Discovery Area, which starts at 11 and uh, their discovery bench is fractals and their brain lab is brain dissections. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really happy for the insectarium. Me too. So, 
It's really good. I, 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 always, I always definitely like them. I've never actually been there, yep. which is really sad because you always mentioned that they're uh, always feeding that uh, Chilean, um, yeah. Rosie the Chilean spider. Yep. They do, yeah. They have lots of really great programs for kids. They have this cool thing for adults called Bugs and Brews or Brews and Bugs or something like that, where they'll have like a bug expert come in and talk about something sweet and the why you drink some beer. Like it's five bucks. First beer is included in that admission. So they have kids' activities, they have adult activities. You can bring your kid in there and they do field trips as well. Missoula Insectarium is really awesome. Really and I think we should try to like get over there and try to film some stuff. I want yeah, to. Uh, one of the parents uh, said that they had a, a, a tarantula just like Rosie. Cool. They were just talking about it. It was like, oh, cool. Wow. Tarantulas are neat. They're scary, but they're pretty cool. Yeah. But the Insectarium, happy one year anniversary from MCAT and Wake Up Missoula. Way to go, you guys. Yeah. All right, we're switching gears again. Um, over at the Children's Museum of Missoula is Tale Tivities. It starts at 11, so it's uh, they read a story and then they do a themed craft. Missoula Public Library has got their kids' table, so for if you're 18 years or younger, you can go by and get some free lunch and then you can do some activities. It starts at 11.30. Feeding begins at 11.30. And it literally says that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Um, over at the public library, we've got our next three events are over there. Library really has a lot of great events all the time, every day. That's why you guys should give them money so they can expand and we can go in there. Yeah. Uh, they've got their watercolor painting class. It starts at noon with Rob P. Open at ages 18 and up, 12 to 2. Watercoloring. Watercoloring. That's great. Uh, Yarns is at the public library at noon. This is for uh, knitters and crocheters to bring their project together and their lunch and, you know, gossip and have some crafty fun. And then over uh, at, also at the public library is Teen Writers Group at 3.30. This is for those teens that need some inspiration or some feedback. Yeah. And then they're going to feed that crazy spider over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Exectarium that Scott and I were just talking about. Um, and so that starts at 4. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Ula is at the Barn Movement Studio at 4.30. Uh, over at the Rocky Mountain Ballet Theater at 5.30, they've got a new to flamenco class. I'm pretty sure it goes all weekend long. And so it's three days, June 24th, 25th, 26th. You can attend one or all. And an individual day is $15 or $40 for all three. It's a pretty good deal. Isn't the uh, flamenco dancing um, the ones with the castanets? I think so, yeah. Long, beautiful dresses. Yeah. And, like they're red and it's like all sensual. Fiery, and it's passionate, yeah. Like, uh huh, yep. I believe so. So that's pretty cool. So, you guys, that's at 5 30 if you want to stop by there. Are you going to do it, Scott? Maybe. Flamenco? You can play the guitars in the background because they always have the flamenco men playing guitars. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> better than dancing and looking like a fool like you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay, and now we've got music for our Friday night, TGIF, everyone. Tomcat Mole is going to be at the Highlander Tap Room at 6. Uh, over the Union Club at 6 p.m. is traditional Irish music. Um, and then over at the Union Club at 9.30 is at Rest Nasset and the Wrestle. So traditional Irish music at the Union Club at 6. And then Rest Nasset and the Revelators uh, at 9.30. So full evening of music there. Uh, Double Down Band will be at the Sunrise Saloon also at 9.30. And then Modern Sons with Yurt will be at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. So that's what I've got going on for you guys uh, for your Friday evening and your Friday day. But uh, before I go into Saturday events, we're going to feature an art clip. So this is and your last chance. Yeah, it's your last chance. Last chance to see it. It's going to be at the Missoula Art Museum um, and it ends today. So without further ado.
Hi guys, we are back. That was Flood Plains of the Missoula Art Museum and that last day is today. So now we've got some events for your Saturday. So starting at 8 a.m., uh, the Audubon, they're doing a trek to Bandy Ranch. So Five Valley Audubon sponsoring an all-day field trip to Bandy Ranch, uh, which is adjacent to Upsata Lake in the upper Blackfoot Valley. Um, and so the actual meeting time is at 7.30, is at 7.50 a.m. in the UM Adams Center parking lot in the northwest corner. So if you want to go, show that up at 7.50 a.m. Bring, you know, I can imagine sunscreen, water, good hiking things, bring a lunch. Um, and so, yeah, and they leave at 8 all day. And then we've got our farmer's markets, Missoula farmer's markets at the Red X's at 8 o'clock. Clark Fork markets at Karis Park also at 8. And our people's markets on Pine Street. It's now in front of the Thomas Mar Bar rather than um, in front of the Jimmy John's and Sweet Peaks area. Uh, they had to switch it over. So that, and that starts at 9. And all these go until about 1 and 2. Over at Kearns Aquatic Center, they've got a family camp, uh, Blackfoot and Ropes course, so you can enjoy the day accompanied on our high, enjoy the day on the water, um, accompanied by their highly trained staff guiding you down the river that made our area famous. Swoon. Um, okay, so you can learn basic paddle strokes or sit back and enjoy the float. So it's uh, $44 if you are a, not a member, $36 if you are a member. It's from 9 to 5. I can imagine you'd want to show up at the Adams Center, or not at the Adams Center, over at Kurtz Aquatic Center at like 8.30. Um, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so uh, the Zootown Surfers, they have a two-day intro to kayaking clinic. It starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow over at the Frenchtown Pond. So it's Saturday and Sunday. You can call 546 0370 if this interests you. Over at E3 Convergence Gallery, they've got an acrylic oil pastel workshop. It starts at 10 a.m. Um, so it's $65 and it's tomorrow. So, you know, you'll be tomorrow. I'm sure you'll still have time to register. And so they're pretty much just going to be showing you the basics of acrylic oil and pastel. Yeah. Get you geared up for which one you like. And I'm sure that they'll have materials and you'll just have to pay and show up. Over at Travelers Rest State Park from 10 to 4 is Expedition Days. Um, and so they are commemorating Lewis and Clark's 1806 stop right there in the park. Yeah, so they'll learn all about that. I claim the fame. <laughs> yep, <laughs> Lewis and Clark, woo! Uh, over the Learning Center Red Willow, I thought that this was a nice class, so I wanted to talk about it. It's a one-day workshop. It's called Love's In Inconsistencies. And um, it's from 10 to 4. It's $125. And it's tomorrow. And so it's pretty much going to be talking about love, its manifestations, expirations, and inconsistencies through several lenses, including the psychological and the spiritual. Um, and so they'll talk about different like traditions on love, as well as other mystics, mythologies, and religions to help us explore the inconsistencies and fictions present in love. So that's kind of interesting because, you know, everyone loves love and love is a good thing, but it's also so mysterious and confusing and it's hard. So maybe if you go to this class, you can find out more about it. I don't know. Sounds fun either way. Okay, over at Spectrum Discovery Area, uh, they've got their Discovery Benches Sound and their Brain Lab is Census. It's $3.50 for anyone four and over. Over at the Missoula Art Museum, they've got a Saturday art. Um, it's like a Saturday art class, kind of like a Saturday art meeting. It starts at 11, and it's Matt Hammond, and he is a UM assistant professor of art who teaches photography. So he's going to discuss the exhibition or the exhibit of Holly Andrus, The Homecoming, as part of uh, Missoula Art Museum's Saturday program. And The Homecoming are these series of photos, and we've showed you them before that were at the Missoula Art Museum. It's pretty much features like these three or four little girls girls and they're just doing all these different activities but the photos are absolutely beautiful um, and so that's he's gonna be talking about them and that's at the Missoula Art Museum at 11 tomorrow yeah uh, over at the Missoula Butterfly House they have hydrophobic hypotheses it starts at noon um, and so they're going to develop hypotheses and conduct experiments to see how butterfly and moth wings react to variable conditions man this sounds fun I want to go over there uh, okay, and then over at the Garden of 1000 Buddhas, they've got their weekly garden tours and meditation teachings. So they've got a um, guided meditation at 1, and then they've got a tour at 2 o'clock every Saturday until October. 
Over at Natural Grocers, they've got container herb gardening at 2 p.m. You can go in there and, you know, learn how to make some gardens out of containers. Put some herbs in there. Cook with it. Sounds great. Uh, over at the Roxy Theater, they've got a film. It's called This Land is Our Land. It's called Food Film Celebration. Um, and so they're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the North Missoula's Community Development Corporation. Um, and it's their birth of an organization, so they're celebrating that. So they're going to watch a short film about the origins of the community land trust movement and participate in a community conversation about access to affordable housing. Wow. For you political buffs out there, that sounds great. Uh, Larry Hirschberg is going to be playing in the Highlander Tap Room at 6. Base is covered. We'll be playing Ten Spoon Vineyard and Winery at 6 p.m. Um, over the Zach Below, they've got Beloved Binge with Pale People and Carnes. That's at 7. Clint Black will be playing the Wilma Theater at 7. Uh, over the Roxy Theater, they've got a movie called 7. It starts at 9 p.m. Um, and it's about two detectives, a rookie and a veteran, hunt a serial killer who uses the seven deadly sins as his modus operandi. Oh. Okay, and then over the Badlander is absolutely with Chris Moon. Country Boogie Boys are at the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. And Ticket Sauce is at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. So that's what I've got going on in your community, you guys. As always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, The Independent or The Missoulian for more events in Missoula area. Yeah. Oh, there's Scott. Hey, how's it going? I meant to switch to our wide shot, but it's just Scott now. Let's take, let's hear a little musical by Scott. Take it away, Scott. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. And so as you guys know, we've been having summer camps this week. This week has been our first week. It's been really great. The kids have been super enthusiastic. They've been really happy. They've really been into it. They've been enjoying filming. No one has been fighting. And if people aren't getting along, you know, they have been really good at separating themselves. Yeah, I mean, like the, the, like the yeah. boys, like some of the boys were just like up in each other's grill. And then they just kind of like go on their uh, other sides and they're just like, I'm doing my own thing. And uh, we have a little kid, his name is Bang. Oh, okay. Bang Sue. Bang and Sue. he has uh, been hanging out with our boss, Joel. Yeah, he is. Like, I, I always look over there and like, oh, Bang, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just talking with Joel because he's always trying to get Joel to like give him some of our old equipment yeah. to bring home. So we gave him an old uh, video monitor that has a. Um, mm -hmm batteries in the back so it, it's, it's very funny it's, it's, it's he's and he's like maybe this tall and like just four foot nothing seriously maybe like four foot three foot something he's so cute just runs around all crazy and is all adorable he knows how to break dance so he shows his cool break dancing moves and then he'll follow around joel and then joel will give him like tvs and cell phones and like <laughs> remote like old equipment old from yeah from like early 2000s late 90s and he just loves it and he's so happy and then you know i'm sure joel just loves having him follow her around <laughs> he's not annoying he's really cute and funny. <laughs> but we do have a short video that Scott made. So Scott, what can you tell us about uh, this? We, I did a, a silent movie. Um, it was a nice little silent movie and uh, I used the footage that uh, I found on the computer. It was just basically just straight up footage that I found. And I was like, I can make something out of this. So without further ado, here is Cyrus and the Train. That was an adorable video made by Scott Ramp, um, but filmed by Dylan, and our child actor was Cyrus. Yes. Yep, and you guys can see us, all of us, live tonight at 5 p.m. on channel 189, 
And yeah. you can also watch us on our MCAT.org channel, like uh, Video On Demand website, because mm -hmm. it allows us to, everything that you see on television is streamed online. But of course, speaking of online, uh, you can go onto our website, uh, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula, so nice. We named it twice. That's so nice. You can also like us on our Facebook page. And we have our own Twitter page, at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter, at MCAT TV in Missoula. You can also like us on Facebook. And to find out more information about us and to see programs all the time, go to MCAT.org. And like Scott said, you can catch us at 5 o'clock tonight on channel 189 or MCAT.org for a live show and see all the videos that our little ones have made. They're pretty good. And I want to give a shout out to Anne, Anna Semple for yep. coming on our show for the um, forum for um, children and youth of Missoula. Yes, thank you very much. And way to go, all those people, for donating and help helping those preschools because it's good. Good, but of course, if you are an organization like that, such as that, or you um, want to talk about an upcoming event, you can log on to um, MCAT.org. You can email us, MCAT, MCAT.org. You can call us, 542-6228, otherwise known as 542. MCAT! And yeah, we're always open and we respond pretty quickly. On Facebook, it says our response time is 100% and within an hour. Way to go, Scott. <laughs> yeah. But you guys, thanks for tuning in with us. Uh, have a great weekend for Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. And we're, we'll see you Monday. Take it away, Scott.